Hey everyone, Alex here with Systems Refined, and today I'm going to show you something that I use on a regular basis that has saved me from missing meetings, video calls, and even phone calls. Anytime an event gets added to my Outlook calendar, a new task in Asana is created so I don't miss it, and it's very simple to set up. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. You'll need a Zapier account, and I already have one set up, and I even have a Zap already created. And I'm going to go through it so that you can actually see how I created it so that you can have this same uh, function as well. So the first thing I did was create the Zap, and the trigger is going to be when a new calendar event in Microsoft is created, the action will be a new task will be created in Asana. All you have to do is choose Microsoft Outlook and the trigger is going to be a new calendar event and you'll choose your account and choose whichever calendar you want to use. Um, I don't know how many calendars you have. I only have one. So I just I left mine empty, but it says here that if you leave it empty, the default will just be calendar or the default calendar. And then you just have it find uh, the data so that you know that it'll work. So that's setting up the Outlook uh, portion of it. And next is the Asana part. So the app is going to be Asana and the action is going to be creating a new task. Choose your account and then now this is the fun part where we customize it. So I use my actual organization, Systems Refine, and then you select the project that you want this new task to appear in and mine is going to be in workflow and I want it to be in the to-do section. I have multiple sections. Um, that I can put it in, and I, but I want it to be in to-do. The name is going to be the task name. So I added this part here, new calendar invite, and then I just put the subject of what the actual calendar event is called. And then in the notes here, this is what's going to be in your description of the Asana task. And I just basically put um, the pertinent information. And then I have the due date on there as well, so that way I know when the actual uh, calendar event is taking place. I have it assigned to myself, and I also have it go right into my tasks, and I don't have it go into later, upcoming, or today. I want it to show in my inbox, which is just the my task section, and then I will actually set it for upcoming, later, or today, because it'll depend based on the, the date that they choose. And I don't have any followers or tags or anything like that. So, and that's it. That is how I set it up. And let's go ahead and test it out so you can see what happens. The reason why I use this is because people will find my website or um, try to get a, get a hold of me. And then they'll eventually find my Calendly link, uh, which will take them here. And then they will schedule um, an appointment with me. And what ends up happening is I don't... I probably wouldn't re realize that it happened. They'll schedule a time with me and then and then wait for me to get a hold of them. But there was one time where I did not realize that that had happened and uh, never never called this person or did a video call or anything because I don't check my my Outlook calendar um, very often. And there it is, new calendar invite. Alex and Alex Tressler. So it has all the details here. It's assigned to me. You can see that it is on Monday when this is going to happen. And if I go to my tasks, you can see that it is right here on the top, recently assigned. So now I can actually adjust this myself. Since it's on Monday, it's going to go into upcoming. And there you have it. That's it for this video. I hope you found it valuable. And if you did, go ahead and click on that like button and click on subscribe so you don't miss out on any other Asana Tips videos.